This is not my first commencement address, but this is my first commencement address as a public servant. And it is not lost on me what an honor it is to deliver this at the Philippines Premier Church and in the House of the Lord. To the graduates, I hope that you also see what a blessing it is for all of you to share this bright, shining moment of your lives with the Lord in this beautiful cathedral and before our mother, our Lady of the Immaculate Conception. Other graduates do not have that privilege. Yung iba ang graduation sa field, yung iba sa gym ng high school nila, pero kayo sa Manila Cathedral. You are here today being honored as you graduate before Our Lady at the Basilica of the Immaculate Conception. And how apt. I think it is just appropriate that we share this moment of joy with Our Lady because you, dear graduating class, you are a very, very special batch because you would not have graduated without the mercy of the Lord and the help of Our Lady because you are the pandemic batch. You are the batch that went through the shocking news of COVID-19, that had to cope with the shutting down of schools, that had to do the lockdown, that had to cope with not seeing your friends in person, with having to learn how to study through a digital format and at home, and then go to school with masks on. And the parents, the parents here today and those who have acted as parents, you suddenly became teachers at home. So you are all part of this batch too. And you, or all of us, are very blessed because we were protected by the mantle of Our Lady. I really truly believe that the pandemic would not have ended without the mercy of God and the help of Mama Mary. They heard our prayers through the healing rosary of the world that was led by this very church. And just last month, on May 5, 2023, the World Health Organization finally declared that the COVID-19 pandemic is over. Sa awa ng Panginoon. So dear graduates, gumraduate na rin ang COVID-19 pandemic. Kabatch na siyang gumagraduate si COVID-19. And so that is the first thing that I hope you will remember as you celebrate your graduation today here at the Manila Cathedral. That Our Lady, Mama Mary, in the purest form of synodality, accompanies you. She is with you in times of desperation, like during the pandemic. She shares in your sorrows and in your struggles. And happily, she also shares in your joy as she joins you in this graduation today. So as you go through the next chapter of your life as adults, in college or at work, when you go through difficult times again, as you did with the pandemic, always remember that you can be strong and you can get through anything just like you got through the pandemic because the Lord, through Our Lady, is and always be there with you and for you. But this is not to say that you will just rely on the Lord and on Our Lady. The fact that you are here means that you, dear graduate, are capable. You are intelligent. You are strong. You are amazing. And so while you can count on the Lord and Our Lady, the Lord is counting on you too. The Lord is counting on you to become the best version of yourself so that together our collective best selves can make this world a better place for humanity. And that is why the Jaime Cardinals in Learning Center, the Sacred Heart of Jesus Catholic School, and the San Felipe Neri Catholic School, and the entire RCAM educational system have worked very hard to mold you and equip you with the knowledge and skills to become the great graduates that you are today. Even amidst the pandemic, embodying resilience, strength, and an unwavering commitment to nurturing our youth to become the leaders 
of tomorrow. Palakpakan naman natin ang ating mga guro. So remember, the Lord is counting on you to become the, ve the best version of yourself. And now you are ready to face the next chapter of your life. I hope that the next chapter of your life is college. I am well aware that not all Filipinos, that not all Filipino high school graduates proceed to college. Statistics show that only 34% enroll for tertiary education in the Philippines. That is understandable because some of you, even at your young age, are already wise enough to see that you need to help provide for your family. But please, as much as possible, do not close the door to college. Because if you do, you are also closing the door to so many opportunities that you can have if you do go. Sa amin sa Department of Budget, kapag may nag apply you need to submit a college diploma and a transcript of records. And it is the same with many other government agencies and private employers. So don't even think about not going to college. All of you here, I want to see all of you later on in life as college graduates, okay? Nagawa niyong makatapos ng high school sa panahon ng pandemic, magagawa din ninyo na matapos ang college. Kaya niyo yan. And now, to all the men here, you have another option. The next chapter for you can also be the seminary. Sino dito ang mga boys na nag-iisip maging pare? Yes! Palakbaka natin sila! So, kung pinag-iisipan nyo yan, take this message of mine today as your calling. You know, becoming a priest is a very exclusive privilege. Ako, gusto ko maging pare, pero bawal daw ang girls. <laughs> so take advantage of this opportunity that is open only to a few. So please approach our priests after and see how you can enroll at the San Carlos Seminary. As you choose your course for college, or as you think about what to do in this next chapter of your life, my advice for you today is, don't be afraid to follow your dreams. Choose to do something that you love. If you love singing or playing the piano, take up music. If you love to cook, learn to become a chef. If you love design, take up a course on design. Do not be afraid to follow your dreams and do not compromise. My good friend Pia, when she was a fresh graduate, was being convinced by her mom to work for a call center because the pay is good. But Pia wisely followed her heart and started her own business in the arts, she was strong enough to say no to the call center offer. And today, she has her own company, as she, and she has had exhibits around the world, even in Japan. My cousin, Maricel, was being convinced by her dad to become a pharmacist, but her first love is music. Her dad dissuaded her, saying, walang pera sa music. But she followed her heart and enrolled in the UP School of Music, joined the Madrigal Singers, and today she has her own company, the Music Classroom, employing several music teachers and teaching many students voice, piano, violin, music. So follow your dreams. Now is the time to learn all the skills that you need so that you can find your dreams. And my next advice is, don't be afraid to fail. Do not let the fear of failure stop you from finding your dreams. Go lang ng go. And if you fail while trying, just get up and try again. And sometimes there are failures that we don't understand because God has greater plans for us. My first course in college was communication arts. But in my second year, I failed. 
I was not accepted into the Com Arts specialty courses of my college. I felt bad and worse, I felt stupid. So I chose to enroll in something harder to challenge myself. I shifted to economics. Little did I know that decades later, I would need this degree in economics because I would become undersecretary at the Department of Budget. So I did not understand it then, but God had a bigger plan for me. And it was only revealed, aminin ko na edad ko, it was only revealed 25 years later. So when you don't understand why you are experiencing some hardships or some failures in life, just trust that God has a better plan for you. And my third advice is, don't take anything for granted. And that comes from having an attitude of gratitude. Be grateful. Because when you are grateful, you see the value of what you have and the value of what comes your way. You are able to see and appreciate the Lord's blessings. So value the fact that you have a high school diploma because not everyone has a high school diploma. Value the fact that you have good teachers and mentors. If you still have parents and grandparents, value them greatly and show them how much you appreciate them by listening to them and learning from their words and their works. Because when you value things and take care of them, you inevitably pay attention. And when you pay attention, you gain insight. When you gain insight, you grow in wisdom. When you grow in wisdom, you become a better person. When you become a better person, that is your offering to the Lord. So don't take anything for granted. Everything is a blessing. Finally, I want all of you to be proud of yourselves. Tingnan mo ang katabi mo at sabihin mo ang galing mo. Yan, ngayon, tingnan mo ulit ang katabi mo at sabihin mo ang galing ko. At yan naman ang totoo. Kasi kung hindi ka magaling, hindi ka gagraduate sa araw na ito, di ba? So you are amazing. Yes, palakpakan natin na sarili natin. <laughs> so dear graduating class of 2023, remember that you are amazing. You are blessed. Kaya magpasalamat tayo. Sabay-sabay nga natin sabihin, maraming salamat po. Sa lahat ng tumulong sa akin para pumasa. Sa ating mga magulang at ating mga tinuturing na magulang. Sa ating mga guru at mga teacher. Sa lahat ng mga nagpapatakbo ng ating paaralan. Sa ating mahal na ina, La Purisima Concepcion, Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception. At higit sa lahat, at ito dapat ang pinakamalakas ha, sa Panginoon. So congratulations to the graduating class of 2023. Maraming salamat po.